Hey, Pom Pom Gang, welcome back. How y'all doing? I hope everyone is doing well. If you are new to our channel, hey, how you doing? I hope you are being safe during these troubling times. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. We are renovating my kitchen and dining room. So this is just a recap of last week's video. We installed our new cabinets as well as finished enclosing my refrigerator. There was no enclosure to our refrigerator. We added that as well as a refrigerator cabinet. So this week we will be working on backsplashes and counters. <laughs> where we start stopped off at yesterday we had to level out this back wall some more we pre-cut it it wasn't flush with the counter it's about an inch higher it went in with the reciprocating saw and the oscillating saw to saw off the drywall and the studs uh, we installed our second cabinet i was able to pick that up yesterday as well as picking up the backsplash that will go all across here up over the window and all through here so i have a little goal chart over here as far as my steps i need to take to finish completing the kitchen and as well as my daily goals restaining the counters and building our counters and our upper shelves which are these up here those will be going over there as well as me building the upper shelves on this half. That is today's goal, is to do those today. Counters and restaining. So I'm about to tape everything up because I'm gonna have to sand all this down. It's gonna get pretty dusty. Taped everything off using plastic drop cloths that are very inexpensive to buy from Lowe's or Home Depot. They were pretty huge, so they were able to cover up all of my doorway so I can keep the dust accumulated in the kitchen and it wouldn't travel all throughout the house. I'm going to go in and sand down my already countertops that I have installed on the other side of the kitchen so we can restain them into a dark oak. I'm going in with a medium grit sandpaper so we can remove that top layer and all the other grime and gunk from the past couple of years. It took about an hour and a half to finish sanding everything down and this is what the counters look like after I've done sanded. I tried to remove as much as the previous stain as much as possible, but since I'm going in with a gel stain which goes on a lot thicker and penetrates a little bit harder than just a regular stain, will be able to cover up all of that. You won't even see the previous stain. So when I first went in with the first coat, I kind of messed it up. So my method on installing my stain was to um, put on a very thick layer, allow it to sit for 15 to 20 minutes before I lightly wiped it off in order to get the color that I wanted. So this was kind of a trial and error. This was my first time using a gel stain, but I really liked my results. All right, look at it. It looks amazing. Yes. All right, so we are now applying the top coat to our newly restained counters. So this one I have already applied the top coat. Um, I was gonna go with a glossy, but I decided to stick with my clear satin. Before I went in with the top coat, I did lightly sand my surface after letting the stain dry. I feel like it took away some of the character of my wood. Like you couldn't see, like I like seeing those lines and those grooves and the, you know, the grain of the would I think that it builds character for the counter like I don't know call me corny whatever so I didn't like that it kind of took that away from me like the whole point of having butcher block countertops is having that wood essence to it and uh, when I stained it I guess I went a little too heavy on my stain it kind of took that away so I lightly sand it just like lightly like just hand sand it using a fine grit paper Oh. Sand it down. Sorry, my nose is like out of control and all the smells is just really bothering me. So make sure you ventilate your area whenever you're going to use this stuff because it's very strong. So it looks really good. It's not dry yet. 
I just put it on. We have to wait four hours for it to dry. It is currently 10 o'clock at night. So, of course, this will not be dry until I wake up tomorrow morning. Because I don't see me putting on a second coat. I believe last time I did it, I did one coat and it was perfectly fine. I lightly sanded this too to kind of bring out that character back into my wood. And this is a side that I have not sanded. So, as you can see, like, you can barely see my grain in the wood. Like, you can see the difference. Like, this is the counter that was pre-stained and sand and that's the kind of that was not and you just can see the difference already like and how lightly sanding it really like bought that oomph back into my counters like still a lot of work to be done but i know we can do it we can do it i'm exhausted excuse my hair i have not i am like hair has just been the last thing on my list right now so i haven't done my hair at all i haven't even bothered looking at myself in the mirror because i just know i look ratted tatted tat tatted I mean, my kitchen is a hot mess you see my dining room back there all the appliances all this plastic and trash just everywhere the stove is just sitting in the middle of the kitchen just chilling with me right now yep i'm gonna go ahead and get started with this stuff or finish this stuff up now i just want to try to kind of see what i did and what i got going on i love this color it looks really good with the navy and i didn't even realize it matches my hardware you see that and you see how the hardware has that distressed look like it has character don't mind the white it's dirty okay it is it's dirty it's been two years in the making of me painting it and i haven't cleaned it just don't judge me right now i just want to i want to pull these two rooms together i want them to be as one um since they are you know connected and that was kind of the point of me kicking down that wall, uh, cutting down that wall. So this can all be an open area where we can all share. So tomorrow we'll be working on uh, staining the counters that will be going over here in this corner. All right, so it's a rainy day. Um, I wasn't able to finish the counters over here. I still needed to sand those. So instead, me and Hubby are installing our new backsplash and so far, it is coming along very nicely. So we went with a mosaic. It has blue, grays, marble. So it ties in with the floor, ties in with our blue cabinets. And on top of this dark wood that we just restained the counters, it looks really good. It really pops. It's kind of iffy about it at first, but now that I'm starting to see the entire project come together, it's coming along very long, very well. So I did purchase the pill and stick mosaic um, self-adhesive. I didn't want to be bothered with grout. These usually are a lot more pricey than purchasing regular ceramic or stone tiles. You don't have to buy grout and I feel like I'm saving more money plus less of a mess. And you know, with everything I have going on, I want to make this as easy as possible. Now cutting these pieces has definitely been the challenge, but I think we're doing a good job so far. Hey, recap time. So it is 11.30 at night. I'm just uh, straightening up around the house before I go to bed. So as you can see, the counters are done. The only light I have on right now is my window light. The ceiling lights are out because I have Christian changing out all the outlets. The outlets before were these like it was like this dingy yellow color, I don't know. So I changed them all to just regular white. So all of those, and that's the last one that I have to do over there in that corner. I did run into a couple of problems though because of before we never had a backsplash installed in this kitchen at all. It was just bare walls. So this is its very first backsplash. The outlets and the light covers were flush up against the wall. So when we installed the backsplash, which is a good uh probably about a quarter inch thick of a natural stone backsplash there was like this gap between the plate and the plug or the plate and the switch this one i haven't done because we haven't i just haven't gotten to it yet but what i ended up doing is taking some of this backsplash taking like one or two pieces and just placing it underneath this metal plate right here so it brings it forward because as you see it's behind my backslash so if i was to put a plate on this there would be a gap between the plugs and the actual plate so i just installed a small little piece of stone like i just took from my little pile of scraps over here that i have left over 
and I just yeah placed it right underneath that silver plate so it brings it forward so it's now flushed with the backsplash. I haven't finished caulking um, so you can see some of the gaps from where we cut the pieces of wood. You see it's kind of rigid. It's, this is our first time dealing with tile. Me and Christian have never installed tiles or backsplashes. Like this is our very first backsplash. It's our kitchen's very first backsplash. So it's it's a very rejoiceful day today. This is all coming together. I really like it. And now this unfinished cabinet that I have on this side is really an eyesore at this part, at this point, because everything else is now complete. Cause we went so long without a backsplash. We've been in this house for three years and yeah, we just gone so long with just looking at this bland uh, drywall painted back wall with oil spots that these never really bothered me. And now they do because all of that looks so freaking gorgeous. Oh, I can't wait to do this side of the wall. Hopefully I can start on that by at least Saturday once I have the counters installed and I'm hoping that'll be by tomorrow we will have these bad boys installed and ready to go. I haven't shot for my bar stools yet so I'm gonna try to do that tonight. It's looking good. It's looking really really good. All right so good night guys. I hope y'all like our work so far. I will see y'all in the morning. Thank you for joining us today on our video for our kitchen and dining remodel. We will see y'all next week, Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our day seven through eight remodel where we will be doing our counter installation for our bar. Thank you guys and be blessed.